My name is Hayat Adawi. Um, I'm a fourth year chemical and life science engineering student. So we're working on the nicotine buster. It's a rapid field test for law enforcement and other people um, to check whether there's nicotine in e-liquids. The industry of vaping liquids, e-liquids, is relatively new and it's pretty much unregulated right now. And there's been a problem of illicit drugs and nicotine being put into these e-liquids. This project has two primary approaches. One of them is the test swabs, which have the cotton and the bromocrystal purple. This is for primarily things like vape shops or principals that want to use you know, quick testing things to then they can send it out to a lab to see if it actually is correct or not. The other part of our project is using Raman spectroscopy. The handheld Raman spectrometer is an existing piece of equipment used by law enforcement. Um, the only thing missing from it is that there's no way to specifically use it to detect nicotine. It can be used for other opioids, it can be used for heroin, it can be used for a variety of things. Um, our goal in this project was to find a way to um, shift its use to nicotine as well, to kind of expand its use. Because nicotine is a little bit different um, from other drugs that are used, um, that are detected by ramen, uh, we needed a specific type of substrate that would allow um, the instrument to detect low concentrations of nicotine in e-liquids. Basically, the test strips are made of cotton and we use a bromocrisol purple solution, which is a pH indicator. Uh, that can detect nicotine presence in an e-liquid. If the product doesn't have any nicotine, uh, basically the test strips will stay yellow, so they won't change color. And if the product, let's say this one, has a nicotine and it's in a high concentration, the test strips will uh, produce a variety of colors based on the concentration of the analyte used. Well, our role on this team is we're working on the business side of it. We have engineers working on the like mechanics of the two products. So we're actually working on like the marketing of who our customers would be, like how sales would be like affected, and how much it's going to cost to actually produce the products in a realistic way. So we're only going to focus on Richmond for now. So basically, we're finding out like how much money we would make, how much we would have to produce, and when and where to produce it. My name is Sergio Escobar. I'm here with the Entrepreneurship Program at VCU School of Business. This is my first time working with engineering students, actually. And it's, it's pretty interesting working with them because you see a whole new aspect of what the product is about and the value it takes into making a product because they know the whole science of it and it's kind of cool knowing. They put in their side and we put in ours and it was sort of like actually running a business. And so they would tell us like the whole mechanics and science behind it and we would actually tell them how they would make money out of Dr. Ward has been a huge help. When we came up with new ideas, to, he was really, he let us follow through with them and you know, kind of stumble our own way and he gave us really good feedback on things and really kept us also on a pretty straight path to get something done and that I'm pretty happy to have him as a mentor. 